Hello everyone and welcome once again to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to come together and just meditate and ponder on God's word and spend a few moments in prayer. This week we are talking about repentance and how as believers you and I are called to walk in repentance. Acts chapter 9 was 3 to 9. As he neared Damascus on his journey suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him he fell to the ground and heard a voice say to him Saul Saul why do you persecute me who are you lord Saul asked I am Jesus whom you are persecuting he replied now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do the men traveling with Saul stood there speechless but they heard the sound did not see anyone Saul got up from the ground but when he opened his eyes he could see nothing so they led him by hand in to Damascus for 3 days he was blind and did not eat or drink anything you know this story of young Saul of Tarsus is one of the most powerful encounters uh, in the bible young Saul of Tarsus had a pretty clear idea of where his story was headed he was bright ambitious and trained by the most and the best teacher of Israel he had a future as a powerful leader and here was his opportunity he was leading an effort to hunt down the followers of Jesus Christ who had been executed a few months earlier Jesus's teachings had uh, spurred his followers to cause trouble all across Israel Soon Saul of Tarsus was leading raids on towns and cities capturing the followers of Jesus and bringing many of them to trial. This felt like a role he was destined to fulfill. But one day as he and his team was traveling on the road to Damascus everything exploded in front of him a blinding light a loud voice and Saul found himself on his back in the dust. Someone was asking him a question. So he asked, "Who are you?" The reply was a strong, "I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting." Saul's heart must have sunk at that. The rabbi they had put to death had somehow come back to life. But by the end of the encounter, Saul's eyes was blinded, but the eyes of his heart was had been opened. His friends help him to stumble into town but it is here where Saul begins to see what God has called him for to be a light to the gentiles it shows us that God loves sinners but he hates sin the love of God found Saul and used him greatly in ministry the apostle Paul was used to for the fast spread of Christianity to the Gentiles he went on to plant many churches and write two thirds of the new testament this shows that no matter how far a sinner is or no matter how bad we are god can use us has the lord ever changed your story has he ever changed your plans are you prepared to be turned around let's pray father we thank you we thank you for your grace and your mercy your love that carries us lord your love that brings forgiveness in our lives we thank you lord that you do not look at us in sin lord but you do, you do not lord condemn us but lord you look at us in love And your word says Lord as far as the east is from the west you have forgotten our transgressions. Lord we pray that we will go turn back to you. Turn back to your love, turn back to your grace. And Lord that you will continue Lord to just strengthen us day after day to fulfill your purposes in our lives. We thank you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.